the lighting is getting crappy in here. Really crappy. Crappy, crappy. Like happy, happy. Not happy, happy. I cannot stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. I shouldn't sit down like a minute before I'm even ready to start filming because this kind of stuff is going to happen. Hey everyone, so I have a haul video for you today. Um, yeah, I did a little bit of shopping. A couple of things you may have seen in like a video here or there. Um, that's because I haven't been doing like as much shopping. I mean, I still shop, you know, let's face it. Um, but I haven't been doing like as much shopping for like makeup and everything as like what I kind of used to. So, or maybe I still do and I just save everything up to do these really long haul videos. That's probably what it is that I do. But anyway, so I got quite a bit of stuff to get through. Get yourself hunkered down because this is going to be long. I know I got my tea and I got my chips. We're ready to go. All right, let's start with the thing that's closest to me, which is my Revlon Colorstay um, combination oily skin. I was going to say something else. I don't really know what it was, but there was something else I felt like I was going to say. Beside the point, I need to pick up a new one so I have the shade... I'm like holding it, okay, okay, I'm trying a different camera today, and I literally just went and held this up to the view, like held up to the viewfinder, not the actual camera. <sighs> so silly. Anyway, so I got this in the shade 150 Buff, which is the shade that I've been using for a long time now, really like it, had to repurchase because I ran out. Sorry if it doesn't look like I'm looking straight at the camera, I can see myself now, and it's really exciting. Okay, so yes, picked that up. So when I moved a while ago, I kind of got rid of a bunch of my stuff and products that I didn't use or like just didn't want to take with me or whatever. Now that I'm back where I am and it's getting closer to summer, I realized I did not have any more of my fake tan. I usually always have some sort of cream or something. So I went and picked this one up. It's in Fair to Medium. It's a daily moisturizer um, by Jergens. It's a natural glow and it says no odor, which it's so not true because there's an odor. It's always an odor, but that's fine. Whatever, it's not a big deal. So, you know, I make out a little, little glow. I did put some bronzer on, but I don't know if you can tell. I do have a little glow, which is nice. Um, I've been wearing this, just, just, just this area right here. You know, whatever shows, keep it glowy. And uh, yeah, I like that. It was pretty good price, and I mean, it's nice, but you still smell stuff. So, you know, that little thing, eyes. Another thing that I had like run out of and hadn't repurchased for a long time because I was trying to use up other stuff, but then I was like, I desperately need it because I even ran out of my other brown liquid liner. So I picked up another one of my Earthen Rock Brown Liquid Liners by L'Oreal, and this was on sale too, so it was just such a great day for me, you know? Really great. Anyways, love my... Do you hear that? It's squeaky like a little mouse. Anyways, so I picked that up because I really needed it. I haven't used it yet, um, but I'm really excited to use it again because I love it so much. Picked up this Smashbox, Smashbox lipstick, which I've never had any of, their, any, any of their lipsticks before. I've had their lip glosses, which are okay. This is from the Legend or Be Legendary Lipsticks. It's a new collection they have out. And it's called Pretty Social. And I absolutely love it so much. Really pretty color. Looks kind of purple on the screen there, but it's definitely, this reminds me of Cream Cup or like Angel. Maybe more like Angel or something like that from MAC. Um, but it's just got a little bit more like of a, a cream or like a bit of a sheen to it. A really, really pretty color. So I saw it on the shelf. I swatched it on my hand. I was like, yeah, that's some buying that. So I'm happy I got that. You guys know my obsession with coconut. I believe I mentioned it recently in my last video. No, not my last video, the one before that, I guess. Yeah, so I tweeted a picture because I did go back to Bath and Body Works as I said I was going to with my coupons, you know, and picked up two more of the coconut leaves candles because they smell just divinely delicious and like coconut. And that's what I got burning right there, you know. Also picked up, they had, okay, so the candles were two for 30. Which is not that great, but then I had a $10 coupon off that. So I got them for 20 bucks. And then I had the, there's another same coupon, spend 30 bucks to get $10 or whatever. Seriously, the lighting is going stupid in here. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, so anyways, they also had a thing on where if you buy three of their, it was like Bath and Body or something like that. Um, three, you get three free. And then I got my $10 off as well. So I picked up 
all coconut stuff. So I picked up two of these um, Aruba coconut body, triple moisture body cream and it smells like exactly, <sighs> sorry I needed to, just give me a second. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I picked up two of those and this smells exactly like the body spray and the candle. I found that the, I was going to get like one of the shower gels, but I felt like it smelled really sweet. And I was like, no, I want the more like coconut, you know, scent. And then I picked up four of those to complete my six. I got more of the body sprays because yeah, I'm obsessed and that's okay. I have a healthy obsession with coconut. I think it's healthy anyway. So I'm not going to run out of the coconut spray for a very long time because now I have five of them. So more coconut. Okay, so I went into Sally's because I was looking for a very specific kind of thing because I'd searched everywhere um, for a certain color of nail polish and just couldn't find it. And as I was at the till, um, I came across little nail polishes that smell. I had these really tiny little Sally Girl nail polishes. Now, I wasn't crazy on the color, but I bought this because it's coconut. Okay, so I didn't buy just one. I bought two. Two, and they're both like a light blue coconut scented nail polish. So they smell when they're dry. So if you bought two, you get another one free. And I was like, hey, do I buy the last little coconut? Because they had one more. And I was like, do I buy another coconut? Do I not? I was like, okay, it might be too much coconut. You know what I mean? But I mean, who can ever have enough coconut? But I did decide to go with something else. And this is a little green one. It's in the uh, scent lime. So I got little nail polishes, which I'm excited. I only swatched them on paper. Haven't actually tried them on my nails yet. Um, surprisingly enough, I don't know why, but um, they did actually smell pretty good, so I was quite excited about that. So the polish that I actually went in to get was, I've been looking for a peach colored nail polish, and I just haven't come across like the perfect shade. This still isn't like 100% exactly the shade I was going for, but it's pretty close. So this is the China Glaze, I think it's called Peachy, yeah, Peachy Keen, and it's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. It's really pretty, more like orangey peach color. Because um, most peach colors that I found at the drugstore and stuff were just like more like salmon-y kind of pinky peach colors, which is not really what I want. It's still pretty, but I've, you know, I've already got that stuff. So anyways, what I still want is more like, um, I don't know, just like slightly more pastel kind of peach, but I just haven't found it anywhere. So if you guys know a really pretty pastel peachy color, but more like towards the orange side than the pink, um, let me know because I'm definitely still on the hunt for a really, really pretty peach color. I ran out of my... Uh, base coat top coat by Rimmel. I really like this clear coat whatever. I put this on as a base coat and then I put my sachet beat over top like after I do the other polish um, and I ran out of that or it was like really close to the bottom. You don't get really close to the bottom. They just get really thick and goopy and they just don't spread on nicely. So picked up another one of those. Then I came across Hard Candy at Walmart and they've got like a whole new like display like it's an entirely new display with some of the the original stuff that they have already. But there's a lot of new things. So the only things I picked up were nail polish just because there were some nice eyeshadows and things or like sets. And I was like, you know what? I've got so many eyeshadows. I feel like I've got every color I could possibly need. So I really didn't feel necessary or didn't really feel the need to pick up other um, stuff. So I just picked up nail polish because you guys know I'm a, a nail polish nut. So I picked up, I thought I picked up four. I picked up five shades. So I'll start with the first one. This is called celebrate sequins and uh, this really is really pretty it's just um, all kind of like silver iridescent glitter but like big chunky stuff so really pretty love that one this is the only one I've tried so far this is a peach color uh, it's called peach pop and it's a peach color with like red and silver glitter it's really pretty then I got Tinsel Town, which I'm so excited to use this one. It is, let's see, is that gold? Yeah, gold, purple, like a bluey green, like glitter. It's really, I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up very well, but like really, really pretty um, polish. I can't, whatever. Okay, this one's called Masquerade. This one's so pretty. I'm excited to try this one. So this is black with pink glitter. I really don't know how well that's going to pick up on camera, but oh my gosh, I'll have to like do some nail posts when I actually wear them. Like it's really, really pretty. This one's so pretty as well. This one's called Mermaid Magic and this is like a very pretty teal with purple and I like that the glitters come in like different sizes and stuff in them. It's really pretty. Love the color of that. So nice. Okay, so that's it for nail polish. Promise. Tea break.
Okay, so that's it for the stuff that's right here. Let's move on to the stuff that's over on my bed. So I've been needing to get a few basic um, things. So I picked up some t-shirts from Walmart and I came across just basic v-neck t-shirts. Really, really uh, nice, fits so well. I like the material and whatnot. And they're five bucks, which you can't go wrong with. So I picked up three basics. I picked up a black, picked up white, and I picked up a gray. I do really like them and like I so said, they're so comfortable. They're five dollars. I mean, you cannot go wrong with, um, you, you can't go wrong with that. It's great. So the next shirt I got, um, you guys will probably recognize it from one of my previous videos, which is this really pretty, um, like kind of like a fluorescent, uh, like neon orange color. And I absolutely love it. This is from H&M. It's from their Conscious Collection. And it was like 20 bucks. So it was a really good deal. I love the button detailing down the front and the kind of like ruched-ish petal whatever looking around the arms. It's really pretty, nice, um, bright spring colored top. Next I picked up this really pretty um, kind of aqua mint kind of colored shirt. This is from, uh, I got this at Winners. It's from the One uh, One Clothing, I don't know, I've never heard of it. Anyways, uh, really pretty. So I absolutely love the back of the shirt. It's got this really pretty kind of keyhole with a couple buttons. The button detailing on the sleeves. Now it does cinch in at the waist, which normally I don't really go for shirts like that, but because this one's a little bit longer, I actually do really like it a lot. So it's very, very nice. Love this uh, shirt and color. And this looks so nice with my purple jeans and it's gonna look so pretty for the summer. So while I was at Winners, I picked up this scarf as well, which I kind of folded so it's in a little, okay, whatever. It's an infinity scarf and it's a pale, pale yellow with really pretty feathers all over it. So I love it because it's such a big loop that you can really, um, you know, loop it up a couple times. It actually came with instructions on how to do it several different ways. I prefer the way that I'm wearing it. It's just looped around the neck twice, um, just really full. Such a flattering colors for my hair and skin and for a lot of things for spring. I absolutely love this scarf. So I was in Old Navy and picked up a jacket. I've been looking for a kind of spring jacket. The only jacket that I have is my um, like faux leather brown one. And uh, that just won't necessarily cut it for everything or you maybe you want just a little different style. So I picked up this really nice kind of like khaki green um, jacket from Old Navy. And what I love about it most is you can cinch it in at the waist and you can give it a very flattering shape. So if you want to leave it kind of baggy or if you really want to pull it in and give, you know, a really nice shape and show off your figure, it's great for that as well. I love the button detailing and I like that it's not like, it's not, you can still make it feminine, I guess, by pulling it in and adding a scarf and things to it. So I do really like this jacket and it's going to come in so handy because it's starting to get a little bit warmer, just a little bit warmer here. So Targets um, in Canada have been starting to open recently, so I went to one a few weeks ago, probably about almost three weeks ago I guess now, and um, just picked up a, like a couple of the last two things actually. So I picked up this really pretty navy and white striped maxi dress. I love this dress so much. I love that it's got the ruffle detailing on the front, just adds to it. Um, very feminine, but again, like the color is so nice for my skin. It's a really nice jersey material, so it's gonna be extremely comfortable and wearable for the summer. Uh, I'm really excited to even throw my fedora on with that. And some really cute sandals as well. And I'm just so excited to be wearing this. And I've actually been wearing this dress quite a bit recently. Um, even though it's been kind of cold, I've been throwing some tights underneath it and like a little sweater on top. I just can't get enough of this dress. I love it so much. And last but not least, my most favorite thing that I've picked up recently, and this again was from Target, is this really bright pink neon colored bag. And it's got um, a little bit of chain on the ends of the handle or on the ends of the strap and along. You can do it on one shoulder or cross body. It's got a really cute little um, black toggle there to open and I've actually been using it so I got stuff in it but I love like the nice bright colors and stuff inside of the bag and it was such a great price too. Um, love this bag. So everyone thank you so much for sitting through that video. I hope it's not too long. I'm really gonna edit it down. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, you know, the items and, and whatnot um, that I got and you've got a little inspiration for the spring or summer. And, um, sorry, I just ate a chip. Anyway, um, 
It's so rude of me to eat on camera. I should edit this part out. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a super wonderful, fantastic, awesome day, and I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye! My head. I've got to fix that problem. Crooked? Straight. Crooked. Straight. Hmm. I have 326 minutes of filming time. That's awesome. Hmm. As always, because I love the coconut, you just like, you get like closer to my room and you're like, what is that like beautiful, yummy smell? Yeah, that's my room. That's the coconut. I might add that part out. It was a little weird.